Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, welcome back to November Vlogs. Today is Sunday, it's the 26th, um, and I don't know how much I'm going to be filming today, uh, because Ian's on his way home from work, it is 5 to 12, he's injured himself. Um, he so that was Ian walking in the door, um, and yeah, he has got something wrong with his arm. <laughs> we, I don't know how bad. He don't know how bad. He wants me to look at it and then decide whether to... My legs are the nice one. Sorry if that told anyone's thingy to turn the lights up. Oh my God. <laughs> so yeah, he wants me to look at it to decide whether it's, ho it's... We should go to the hospital or not. Both blokes that were working with Ian said Yes, you need to go to the hospital. Um, I can see it's quite red. Um, anyway, so I don't know how much I'm going to be filming today. Uh, this might roll on to tomorrow and I'll just put both days to together. So um, I just thought I would come on and say hello, basically. And also, I have decided on my Advent project, which I'm super excited about. Um, I'm going to be unravelling what I did with this yarn here um, and I'm going to be knitting the Knit Vent Cardigan which is knit from the cuff to the middle and then that cuff to the middle uh, which I'm super super excited about, um, really looking forward to it. Uh, I've managed to edit yesterday's vlog, I haven't uploaded it, I don't know when that will get uploaded, we'll just have to wait and see. Um, scissors, yeah I've got scissors. Right, I'm gonna go and I shall see you soon. So we're now back home and I think that is the quickest we've ever been in and out of A&E, ever. Uh, we got there at 20 past 12, no, 20 to 1, half past 12-ish we got there and we was out by 20 past 1. Half past 12 we got there. Half past 12 we got there. We was out at 20 past 1, not even in there an hour. Um, so. And that was through... Getting seen by two um, the, the reg clinician, the register people, the register, children, then the minor injuries. minor injuries. So we got in there; it was so busy, like rammed. Um, and then waited in the queue to get seen by the first person that like sort of pre-books you in, and then you have to see somebody else that actually books you in to tell you where you got to go and whatever. Um, what is that? A massive hole in my chocolate. Oh, like your arm. <laughs> oh. I could be in the last tea cake as he's injured. Um, and we was just like, oh my God, it's so busy in here. And I did say to Ian, it's the out of hours GP service queues in there as well. But we saw the first lady and she said um, they will book you in to go to minor injuries. So I was like, oh, okay, at least we ain't got to wait in here. But then is the queue in minor injuries going to be long? Um... So we walked round to minor injuries, there was not a soul in there. <laughs> um, they, Ian walked in and they called a name and he went no. And uh, he, she said I'll take a seat, you'll be called soon. Literally not even a couple of, not even 30 seconds I don't think, and Ian was called. Um, and a man came in as well as Ian was being called and he went in and saw a different lady. So like two were being seen at the same time. Um, he's ended up with eight paper stitches. They syringed the wound out. Um, Casey said it looks like a jam donut hole, <laughs> which it does. Like it's not slit or anything, it's like a hole. And then, yeah, anyway, uh, yeah, it's a puncture wound. And so basically, and he's got um, like a big patch, it's sort of here on his arm. Like, sort of here. I was expecting it, because he said the back of my arm this morning. I thought it, he meant here, but... It's still not the back of your arm. Well, anyway, it's like here. So, the bony... Where the bone is. Anyway. So, he's in a bit of pain. Oh, I might... Oh, I'll give you some painkillers. What? No. You're in a lot of pain. Uh -huh. <laughs> he's in a lot of pain. He really is. Now, Ian don't really do... Like, you don't normally mo moan about pain and oh, stuff. Oh, you'll hear about this pain. <laughs> but, yeah, he, uh, he he's, he's not very good. So, uh, I've made him a tea. And it's disgusting. Ian don't normally drink tea, <laughs> but he's cold. So, but I've got a Timu parcel I thought I would open. 
with you. It's just literally turned up. So the first thing I bought was a little anklet. So I had one when we went to Spain. My mum gave me one. And the shells broke on it. So I thought I would... Is that Shermotti Mupartel? Oh, I can do. You're going to throw it at me. Right, okay, I'll show you that in a second. Um, so I've got... Oh, there's two there. Two the anklets. I think I've shown that before. <laughs> um, two little gold anklets. I thought they were really sweet. Um, so, yeah. I... It's called yellow, babe. I don't think they're called gold at all. <laughs> yeah, there's probably not an ounce of gold in them, but... <laughs> the only thing gold is the colour. <laughs> uh, I got them. I think my whole parcel came to, like, £8. Um, I got some... Uh, I ordered a new diary, so I get my diaries from Personal Planner, and you can have it how you want, and I have on the right hand side, like the sticky note printed on there, um, I just like it that way, so I've got myself some new stickers for next year's diary, and they are actually knitting related ones, so there's lots, these are so much nicer than the ones I had before, I'll be in my office. Loads of different ones. I'll just show you like this. I know this ain't the best way. I'd rather be knitting. Um, I'll be here forever if I showed you them all. <laughs> um, a woman cannot survive on books alone. She also needs yarn. Lots, lots of yarn. Um, I don't normally, I don't really read, but knitting books maybe. Um, this one's nice. Skeiny yarn. So I think these these were really really cheap. So I'm going to use this. this one. Oh no, sorry. I keep knitting makes me happy. Sorry about the reflection. We've got the heat on. <laughs> um, knit fast, die warm. Um, yeah, lots and lots of different ones in here. Um, I'm really pleased with these and because I use my book, my diary, mainly for my knitting and stuff, um, I thought these would be a good idea. I'm not going to be able to put them back in that packet now though, so let's put them there a second. I also got, <coughs> let me just tip the bag out, oh, oh, there's another pack of them there. I thought I only ordered one. Clearly did You must have got two. I clearly did. Yeah, oh, never mind. I got this. What is this? Can't remember. It's got a skull on it. Um, oh, it's a necklace, an earring set, and a bracelet set. Um, so here are the earrings with the little that finding. I can't remember what they're called. Um, Fish hook, is it? Shepherd's hook. Shepherd's hook. Fish hook um, <laughs> and then, oh, I've just dropped the back. So there's little rubber things for the back. Um, this as a pendant. I love it. I love it so much. <laughs> this is a necklace. Pardon you. <laughs> um, this is the necklace. It's just like a ball chain necklace with that on the bottom and then this bracelet which is a skull try and get it so you can see it without my face in the background that oh this is what Ian got from Timu no did your mum get this from Timu oh, so Ian's mum got him this from Timu now Ian used to be scared of Chucky <laughs> Um, so Ian's mum bought him this. It was quite funny. It's a, it's a key ring. Is it Bride of Chucky? Who, who is? Uh, that's Chucky. Oh, it's Chucky. Bride of Chucky's the girl. Duh. <laughs> right. So why has he got a knife in his hand? Or has he normally got? I don't. I've never watched. It's Chucky's a serial killer that stabs people. Right. Okay. <laughs> that's that. Then I've got some gibbets. <laughs> So me and Casey were looking at the Crocs, Croc bits and pieces, there's loads, there's loads here, um, 
I've got Crocs, she loves Crocs, um, and we see these ones and we was like, we really like these, um, so I'm going to have some and I'll give Casey some because they're not all really what I would have, so there's this one, I'm just going to hold them up, it's a pretty cat, I think I like the colour more than anything. Witch's Brew. The... This. <laughs> Witchy Hat. They're very Halloween themed, I must admit. I think there's ten here. That nearly went in my tea, but that was a cauldron. Uh, that one that says spell books. This one that says poison. I'm trying to get my face out of it. A bat. A hand. And my favourite, of course, <laughs> is the skull. So, um, yeah, I've got those. I'm going to get them back in the little bag. <clears throat> I can. Where's the one that I dropped on? Here's the one that I dropped just here. In a cauldron. Um, and then the last thing I bought, not that exciting. It's going to rustle, make noise. Oh, it's different to what I expected. Now, the steering wheel in my car is very old it's worn um, and when it's damp and I touch it it's really sticky um, and the black comes off on my hands so I thought I would try one of these silicon steering wheel covers and it's like got a leather effect on it I thought it was just gonna be like plain um, silicon I don't know if that's gonna fit on my steering wheel it might do it it's got a bit of stretch I'll have to give it a stretch it looks like an inner tube um, but it's got like a leather effect on it can you see that um, and I'm just hoping this will stop the stickiness and and I know that steering wheel covers are not the safest thing to have and that's why I chose a silicon one so that it feels like the steering wheel um, we'll see it was only couple of quid like I said all of this came to eight pound um, something it was free delivery so I'll see how I get on with this I'll let you know I'm not gonna put it in the car today or next time I go to the car if I remember I'll take this with me um, but see how this goes I'm really pleased and um, there is more things in my basket as Probably everyone that's got Timu um, has got stuff in their basket. So with Timu, you can't favourite things. Like, you can't favourite for later or anything. You just have to put it straight in your basket. And that's what I do. And then when I want to place an order, I just click what I want to order. Um, mm. I also got Ollie's Christmas present. Shouldn't show him, because he might watch it. Do I don't think he does. Be very loud. Oh, <laughs> it's not Ollie's Christmas present at all. <laughs> so I ordered Ollie's Christmas present yesterday, which is number blocks. Now he loves number blocks on kids' YouTube. I ordered this, and this is for Ian. <laughs> this is the Xbox controller battery pack. <laughs> Can I have my present? So yeah, this is definitely not for Ollie. Um, because I'm injured, she buys me things. <laughs> you asked for it, so I just ordered it. <laughs> um, he asked for a battery pack while I was at Lakeside the other day. And he went, don't worry, I've found batteries. But the batteries are not lasting very long in the controller. He's got a controller, uh, Elite, Xbox, uh, Elite controller, whatever it is. So I don't know whether it takes more batteries because or it uses more power. Because I had the vibrate turned on. 
Oh, because it's got the vibrator turned on, so. But with the battery pack that I've just bought him, you can just put, he's only got, he's got two controllers, but he only uses one. But the battery pack, you can just lean on the dock. No, I've got one controller. Yeah. I had two broken controllers and I made one out of Yeah, two. but you've got another one, haven't you? That's 360. Oh. He's only got one controller. <laughs> I don't think it's fixed. Anyway, so that's that. I'm going to do some knitting, put this stuff away now. I did take my knitting to the hospital, but honestly, I wouldn't have had time to even get it out of the bag. Does it fit? What? Oh. <laughs> um, yeah, I, uh. I wouldn't have even had a chance to get it out of my bag because we was in there so quick um, and out again. So, the traffic on the way home. Oh, and we went to the burger van on the way home. There's like, a, outside the hospital, there's like a cabin... But it does work. He's nodding. Um, there's like a cabin. It's called the log cabin, and it's a burger van type thing. And we went there because we I'm injured. Because he's injured. <laughs> if we put on this week, it's because he's injured. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna lose. I've lost oh. most of my flesh. I'm sure I just put that in the hole. I've just done it up and done it and done it up and. Oh, Ian's looking at it. I really like it. Something different. I'm trying to show you it. Oh, right. So yeah, it's just... It's just like, um, it's not obviously proper jewellery, but it's... It's fashion jewellery. I don't know if it'll go over my head. It won't go over your Why don't you take your glasses off? <laughs> it would have gone over my glasses. can't see it now. It's quite nice. <laughs> I don't understand. It's magic. <laughs> oh, there's a hole in it. Like it's very good. <laughs> no, the bit of metal's just been bent. Oh, you're probably not going to be able to see that. But the bit of metal is just bent. Oh, yeah. So that just needs closing. <laughs> and I thought the first time I put it on there properly, it came off. Right, anyway, I'm going and um, I've bent it back now, so hopefully that will stay shut. I'll put it on again so I can take this off now. Right, definitely, definitely going. <laughs> so after all that ramble, there was a bit of information that I forgot. Um, so we, when we walked in at the hospital, I'm talking about... When Ian walked in, he explained that he had an accident at work and um, explained that he worked for Network Rail. Now, I think for certain occupations, they get you seen quicker because of, what is it? Leptospirosis. Leptospirosis, which is like disease to do with rats and stuff like that. And I think like if you were probably a dustman, road sweeper... People that work in that sort of environment, they have to see you within so long, and like so many hours. Um, yeah, because she asked me what had happened, who I work for. And how, like when I told her who I work for, she just looked at me and went, "How long ago did this happen?" Yeah, she did because I, I remember that. Um, so I think they have to get you seen within so many hours of the accident. Um, and I think that's why we got seen so much quicker and we went straight to minor injuries as well instead of being uh, uh, waiting to see triage and at the the lady that Ian saw first he showed the pictures of the accident what hit him and stuff like that she showed he showed her them um, instead of showing like unwrapping the wound and everything because he got home and I rewrapped it very badly <laughs> I don't do first aid. I've never done first aid. I know how to put on a plaster. That's probably as good as my first aid is. Um, and the second one we see, the, the nurse lady, she was cleaning it. And then she said, how did it happen? And I told her and told her what where I work for. And she just looked up at me and then she got out this little syringe. Yeah, to clean and it. And sucked all the, the, what's it called? Saline, Saline solution. Solution up. To clean it out jabbed the syringe in my arm yeah so the end of the syringe was like literally in 
Anyway, I couldn't that, see the one on the syringe. That's how far it was that, in my That's arm. enough of, of that. I don't, don't want. If anyone's squeamish, I'm sorry. Um, but right, I'm going to put this. I've just been looking <laughs> at my stickers, and I've just picked up one. I really laughed. I'm not going to say it out loud, but I'm going to show you. <laughs> You guys that will knit and crochet and stuff will understand this, obviously, but this is what it says. So, yeah, I was really, really laughing. But to be honest, these are really, really good. Um, I'm so pleased with these stickers. Really, really pleased. Um, I'm glad I've got two. Simple things. If, yeah, simple things, please. Simple minds. It really does. <laughs> um, and the charger that I got Ian, I've just plugged in here for now. Um, and it just looks like this. And these are the batteries. So they can go on here, not on the controller. So this first one, obviously, will have the controller on it when Ian's not using it. Or whatever, but there'll always be a battery. And it's, you've got the signs here. I think it goes green once it's charged. I've just plugged it in with this long wire. Um, that's over this side of the sofa for now uh, but we're going to put it on the unit there's spare plugs at the back so we're going to do that probably yeah. later yeah. or today yeah. why? we're doing the summer why? I've already been behind there to do the lamps the, the mat, he's talking about the mat yeah. I've already pulled the mat up right. to do that but anyway so yeah that's so it's much later on, 10 to 12, I've just gone 10 to 12, didn't realise it was that late. Um, but we're both going to go to bed now. <laughs> but I've been knitting on an old whip, an old-ish whip, um, and I have finished a sock. So I was up to the hill on this sock, and I've been up to there for, oh, I don't know how long, since August time. Um, and I've pulled this out and... I decided to finish it so I'm gonna finish these socks for my neighbor because on Saturday she was like I love the socks you made me um, and yeah so she said nothing like that no she, no she didn't but <laughs> <laughs> um, she was wearing a green jumper so I'm assuming she likes green there's purple in there um, and I've got this much of the second one so I did cast on I was gonna go back to the snuggly stars yarn socks um and do a bit more on them but i thought if i can get these done um then i can either gift them to her when i see her this week or on saturday and then um i want to cast ian's trying to get a put tape around his arm because the plaster's coming off already and i pulled the hairs off and he pulled his hairs <laughs> with the tape um yeah, I want to do. I want to start the cuffs for the knit vent um, cardigan that I want to do. So that's the plan. Um, but I, yeah, I'm tired. So I might get up early tomorrow because I've got orders to send out and bits and pieces. Um, Tuesday I've got Sky coming or Open Reach or whoever's coming. I don't if they know. They turn up. Um, yeah. So they were supposed to come last Thursday, then they changed it. I got an email, but I didn't realise it was an email changing when they were coming. Um, so, I haven't had an email again since, so we just have to wait and see. Um, yeah, I've got orders to get sent out, and I don't think I've got a laser or anything, but I might design something to go in the shop, I'm not sure. <laughs> He's doing a Mikey. Mikey does that, puts his hand up to the camera. I don't know why. Probably can see it on YouTube when I'm trying to focus something. <laughs> um, yeah, so I had to pull out all this yarn from the middle of the ball to try and get the socks to match. Um, if it was me, I wouldn't have bothered trying to get them to match or if they were for, more, for me or my sister or something. But I thought, as I'm gifting them, I want them to match. So, yeah. Right, that's it for today's vlog. And I shall see... Thank you for watching. And I shall see you tomorrow. Bye, guys.